President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill Biden are in London paying their respects to the late Queen Elizabeth II. The Bidens are among hundreds of world leaders and dignitaries who will attend the monarch's grand state funeral tomorrow morning. Terry Okita has the latest from London. President Joe Biden placed his hand on his heart as he and the First Lady paid their respects to Queen Elizabeth II at Westminster Hall. Later, the first couple signed a condolence book. To all the people of England, all the people of the United Kingdom, our hearts go out to you, and uh, you were fortunate to have had her for 70 years. We all were. The world's better for her. Mr. Biden is just one of 13 U.S. presidents the Queen met during her 70-year reign. She was the same uh, in person as, she, as her image, decent, honorable, and all about service. The Bidens then joined King Charles III and dozens of other kings, queens, and heads of state at a reception at Buckingham Palace. President Biden is among 500 world leaders and dignitaries attending the Queen's funeral. Now, the largest, most complex security operation in London's history is underway to keep everyone safe. More than 10,000 police and security personnel have been patrolling the city. Members of the armed forces and volunteer marshals will join them on duty for Monday's funeral. We've got help from every force across the country and indeed from some forces further afield. At least one million people are expected to take to the streets to watch the funeral procession. And many thousands are waiting in line overnight for the final chance to file past the Queen's coffin before the doors close early tomorrow morning. Others placed flowers outside the Queen's residences, including Windsor Castle. We felt it was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and also the, the last time we can pay our respects to the Queen. It's a chance to participate in history while honoring the only monarch many have ever known. The late monarch will be laid to rest during a private ceremony at St. George's Chapel on the grounds of Windsor Castle tomorrow night. She will be interred next to Prince Philip, who died last year at the age of 99.